Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the Michael Phelps Focus Swim Snorkel. It's manufactured by Aquasphere and it ranges between $25 and $35 on Amazon, Swim Outlet, and MichaelPhelps.com. I was really excited when I opened the package because it came in its own little bag. It has like a handle up here, it has mesh on the front, and a plastic clear covering on the back. The only problem with this is that you have to take it apart to fit it in here. But you know, I don't actually think that's that big of a problem because it goes on and off really easily. Let me show you. When you take it out, the head strap goes on really easily. It just slides on like this. It fits on both ways, but if you put it on upside down, it ends up uh, being wrong angle and it can be uncomfortable. Not all snorkels are that way. My other snorkel that I've had for a couple years now, it's really hard to adjust. So to know that you have it on the right way, um, you should be able to read the words on it head on looking at it like this. Let's go see how it looks in the pool. This snorkel is a great piece of gear to keep with you all the time because it enforces good head position because you don't have to worry about turning your head to breathe. As you can see, my head stays really still the entire time I'm swimming. The snorkel is great for flip turns because of how tightly it hugs around the top of your head. The triangle design helps make it more hydrodynamic. I love the fact that it fits over your head so well because when I flip, I don't have to worry about the snorkel hitting the wall or creating drag when I push off. See how it just slides through the water almost like it's not there at all? I've had a snorkel for a couple of years already, so I know how they should fit and whether they're comfortable. This snorkel is very comfortable. My other snorkel would always stick up really straight and high, so the water would hit it and it would create drag and sometimes almost fall off when I would do a flip turn and push off really hard. The mouthpiece is a lot wider than most snorkels. Because on my snorkel that I have, the mouthpiece is really small, so when you bite down on it, your mouth ends up being really closed and you have to like breathe through your teeth, so it's harder to breathe. Whereas this one, when you bite down on it, it actually still leaves your mouth wider open because it's just a little bit thicker. The head strap is really wide and the rubber is thick, so it's really comfortable to wear it for long amounts of time. Uh, it doesn't give you a headache like my other one sometimes did and start digging into your forehead. Here's what it looks like without the piece of cardboard in it. So it is just a little mesh bag that you can just throw in your bag with a snorkel in it. It helps keep your snorkel clean. It's really convenient because I always struggle with mixing my dry land shoes and then putting my snorkel in my bag for practice and I'm like, ew, it's getting on the mouthpiece, that's so gross. <laughs> almost like licking the bottom of your shoe and it's kind of gross. I really appreciate this bag. This is pretty convenient. Don't throw it away when you get a snorkel. Oh no, there's hair on my snorkel. <laughs> Another tip, don't set your snorkel on your bed after you put your mouth on it and it's wet. One of the cons to this is when you push off underwater and the water comes in it, you know, all the water collects in the bottom area of it. When you go to blow it out, usually I can get all the water out in one blow in my other snorkel, but with this one, only like half of it goes out for some reason. It's really weird. So then I have to take my second breath really slowly, otherwise I'll inhale an entire lungful of water. And just an FYI, this does not come with a nose clip. Aquasphere makes a really great nose piece that I've used before. Um, I will link that in the description below. Other than that, I think this snorkel is a hot item. Let me know in the comments if you can get all of the water out of this in just one try, and maybe share some tips too so I can work on it. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the description box below for a link to this product and the other stuff that I was wearing in my videos if you're interested in it. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you want to see my other videos and new videos to come, click here to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ta-da! Easier. Easier. Now, not all snorkers are that... Snorkers. Not all snorkers are that way.
Also, if you're wondering, it makes a weird noise when you blow into it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to scare your cats, do that noise and they'll go running away. That was attractive. <laughs>